down here to Sand Hollow for the winter 4x4 Jamboree. These dually wheels did so good in the snow, we're here to test them out in the sand and the rocks. So we kind of realized that to do these duallys, we have to use my Super Swampers. So we hooked our other Jeep up with a set of 24 inch wheels on 37s. And we're gonna see how they do in the rocks. Explain the first problem we've got. Which one? <laughs> well, the first one before we even get over there to the wheeling. Oh yeah. So we're not really sure if we're gonna fit through the tunnel to get to the actual trails from here. So that's gonna be a pretty tight squeeze. And if it's too tight, we might rip that outside dually wheel right off. How wide do you think they made that tunnel? Like how many feet? I don't think they were planning on anything dually going through it. Well, I mean, it's gotta be like wide enough to get like a skid steer through it. I don't skid even know. Skid steers are narrow. These puppies are actually going through the sand pretty good, honestly. They it's kind of like over bumps, it's a little bit nerve wracking. This tunnel's looking pretty skinny, but I think we can do it. Dude, I can't believe it fit, but I gotta put my hubs in because I can't get out of here in two wheel drive. these wheels are you gonna be mad yeah if you scratch them you buy them yeah I don't have money for these <laughs> did Braid forget how to drive a manual I guess he's he's grinding gears in there he's gonna owe you a new transmission by the hey, end of this. I'm cool with that so there was a big traffic jam at the tunnel we were kind of causing that's definitely our fault there was like a rock coming right out of the tunnel i thought we were gonna walk right up it and it didn't we i, I kind of struggled on it for a minute so honestly i don't even know what to expect all right we're gonna do a little slow crawl with the sand yeah. we're just gonna go kind of idle up it they're probably not gonna idle up it because they're both gonna want to win but we're gonna see which tires do the best I don't know, but whatever it is. Something's leaking. Something's leaking. It smells like antifreeze now. What'd you break, Brad? It look like the battery. I don't know. Oh, there's Anybody? a little bit of moisture. Why do you always have me drive your Jeep when it's broke? Because <laughs> then you have to fix it. I don't have to touch it. I know, I don't know. Oh, that's not even bolted down. Mm -hmm. Um, Probably heater hose. It kind of looks like this heater hose. You didn't like put the it? clamp on. Don't bother. Just drive this piece of crap off a clip. Do us all a favor. There's clamps or, right No, look at the clamp. It's not on it. On the heater hose. Oh. Who does that? Oh, you, that's the you, clamp's supposed to. Oh. Dude, you put the other one right next to it on and didn't put that one on. Oh, well, pardon me, Mr. Perfect. I don't blame me for not putting that on. That looks pretty hard to get on, so. Yeah, that one's hard to get No to. sweat off my back. They should have made it so it didn't need a clamp because it's really hard to get the clamp yeah, on that should there. be a push lock or something. Dude, like. <laughs> I was waiting for something real inspirational or informative out of his mouth. Yeah, there was nothing, there was nothing. We kind of lost track of time and now we've got to hustle over to the van arena to put this Jeep in the Braceline's booth. 12 seconds later. Alex, we are barely gonna make it, hopefully. We're gonna make it, we'll be all right. Dude, we've got like 10 minutes before we gotta be there. 20, <laughs> 21 actually. All right, she's loaded up. Head to the booth. We made it here in the nick of time. We got the Jeep set up in the race line booth. Let's show you what it looks like. It's
It's a new day. We've got the dualies. They've been doing pretty good, but we're gonna go find something that they can't do. We figure what's a better way to test these dualies than a massive, massive. Sometimes they say huge. Sand hill, like this thing is steep. I'm gonna show everybody how steep this is. I used Caleb's back window in his soft top. I unzipped it and I'm gonna slide down this hill. The one that broke in the video that we got stranded on. It's it's up. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> My prediction is your rear tires don't get higher than that high mark of sidewall. You don't think it'll get rear past those? No. If you get past that, I'll be impressed. That's that steep. The idea here is to hit the gas with no run, try and see how high we can get up this and see what those dually wheels can do. See, see if they hook up, honestly. If I get higher than you on 24s, you've got to shave your mustache. Oh, nothing oh happens. you're on. Nothing happens, if, I, if, no, I nothing get happens you, if you get higher no. than me, but if I get higher than you, mustache gone. Well, all right, fine. If I get higher than you, you're buying dinner. Hey. I bought dinner yesterday. You mean two nights in a row? I hope so. No, okay. Okay. Ah! But if I get higher than you, I don't have to pay you back for dinner. I feel like you weren't going to anyway. You're wrong, brother. Okay, so we'll take that. Who's going first, though? I say both go. Same, same time. time? Floored. Alex, what gear you want? Probably second or third. Second or third? Second or third, Alex. You're in what? First gear? No, I'm just putting it in drive. Pretty much foot to the floor is the plan. From the bottom, go. That's usually always the plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good plan. I'll be up there telling you guys to go. The only problem is Alex didn't tighten his heater hose clamp. So Ooh. that comes off. We're going to go ahead and do that right <laughs> That's now. That's a good idea. You need to hurry. I'm ready to give it a gas. I'm trying to put a hose clamp on with a set of dikes. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. So the clamp was on there. You just didn't put the clamp I onto the... I was testing these Chrysler clamps, seeing how good they actually are. And they're not that good. They're not that good. All right, we're getting to the bottom, both hitting it at the same time, absolutely floored. That's the rules. If I get up further, I don't have to pay Alex back for dinner last night. And if he gets up further than me, I've got to shave my mustache. And that's not going to happen. Yeehaw! We didn't get near as far as I thought we were going to get. I've had it. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I bet my stinger's a w an inch farther than Cave is. I think your mustache is gone. No, we need a round two here. Just because you lost? Well, how do we measure this? The oldest brother is calling this one a tie. Cave wants to try to side hill this. I'm definitely going to film that. <laughs> You don't bring these. Bald 37s. <laughs> he's stuck. Dude, he's, I don't know if we're going to be able to get him out, to be honest with you. He is buried. Oh, look at all this new fancy Factor 55 jazz here. I don't even know how to use it. Still in the package. We haven't even busted this part of it open. I know. It's all brand new, all stiff and tough. Dad, are we going to get out of here? Not if I have to walk up this hill. <laughs> We're trying 
trying to hook his Jeep up to just the ropes instead of to his winch, and we're gonna tug him hard, see if we can get some sort of run. Uh, there's no way nothing could bust off and kill me, right? I don't think so. The middle is held together by a soft shackle? Yeah. All right, we should be fine. All right, I gotta get a run and try and tug you, so hang on. Jump the work. Kinetic ropes work like crazy. I didn't think there was a chance you were getting up that. No, I didn't either. And then it was like the one tug and I was halfway up the hill. <laughs> that was crazy. 12 seconds later. All right, the guys from Motobuild just showed up. We're gonna show you guys their new gladiator. Baby girl, love my bop and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop. They ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Been running trails today. Oh, a couple of them, banging stuff into the bed and I don't know. <laughs> what you guys up to? Breaking stuff too. Yeah, you know. Rear axle shot. I don't know if you've seen it on Instagram. Yeah, we saw that. that. We Did saw it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep breaking stuff? Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. This is what we do. <laughs> We're because our last Why name's Pat. Why is it you, not them? I don't know. I'd take my Jeep out twice and it's broken six times. So we did hear about it. So all the way from Alabama. No. Oh right. my gosh. Are so, you serious? That you can get that rear axle fixed back up and get back on the trail. And, Heck yeah. But you know, kind of afraid you're going to break it again. But oh, I will. You know, <laughs> it won't we, be we've the got trust. To put back on it. So. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I just picked up a brand new rear axle for it right before we came down. So this is perfect. Thank you, Dan. Oh, you're welcome, man. Good man. Yep. Love what you guys are doing. While all this action is going on, I got to tell you guys about today's sponsor, RevKit. RevKit is a website where thousands and thousands of vehicle owners can check out other people's builds. If you're wanting to check out Dan Dubose JT or my red TJ on this video, we just made a rev kit for it. If you have a dream Jeep in mind that you want to build, you can get inspiration from thousands of vehicles. And if you have a sick Jeep and you want to throw it on rev kit, make an account. It's super easy. It's free to sign up and you can be the inspiration for somebody else's build so thank you so much to rev kit for sponsoring today's video everyone told me they were gonna break they held up i stayed in it and we made it up this first obstacle on double sammy so my rear locker wasn't working the tires were flat it was being a piece of junk my rear axle shot so we left my jeep back at the entrance we're just wheeling caleb's today it's been a riot let's see if he can break them
How long are they gonna hang on? Until hang on. that all thread gives it up, it's gonna hang on. <laughs> yeah, until it comes off, it's gonna stay on yeah. for sure. Uh huh. Alright, this next hill is the monster. And we're gonna scream this Jeep up that hill. I th oh, we're gonna do it. I was trying to decide if I was gonna do it. No, there's no decision to be made. Well, all it right, was pre made, pre trip. This is where this dually shines, you know? Slick rock, it's flat, there's no V notches. It, you know, on paper, it should walk it. Well, you know? I don't know if it's gonna do it or not. I just wanna see one break off. That's why I want you to do it. Well, this passenger side's about there. It's, so. I, I wouldn't doubt it popping off. <laughs> if it pops off here, it's gonna take someone out. Oh yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna roll all the way up there. It's now. gonna roll down to the lake. Yeah. That's the problem. It's gonna be a show. done with the trail back on the trailer and we're gonna take this tire off and show you guys the carnage Whoa! <laughs> thanks for watching pick